and that would be significant in the sense of you know damage or life-threatening conditions it's just going to be busy you'll see what i mean so rain and wind is going to be returning tomorrow then we've got some frosty weather to talk about again wednesday night into thursday morning and then the gusty conditions return with a few scattered thunderstorms into the weekend right now the weather pattern seems to suggest more of a scattered to isolated thunderstorm threat, kind of the garden variety we see a lot this time of year, versus any one strong storm system that would provide widespread severe weather. That's how it looks now. As we all know, details and you know, can and likely will change. But at this point, it appears that the thunderstorm threat is really going to be more of just, again, the pop-up variety. But we'll get to that in a second. Currently, uh, looking at mostly cloudy conditions. We started off at 5 p.m. with partly to mostly sunny skies. But the clouds have been increasing steadily here through the evening. 63 degrees, wind direction out of the southwest. It's a warmer southwest wind, uh, but it's not going to last for much longer. We are actually going to be seeing that cold front sweep through from the northwest and bring in some cooler, cloudier, wetter conditions. Dew points right now show that it is actually quite dry all across the area. That dry air mass, again, will not be lasting for much longer as that cold front is making some progress through the upper Midwest, bringing some light rain with it. That system is going to move south and eastward over the next several hours, bringing rain to our doorsteps by tomorrow morning. The nightly planner showing mostly cloudy skies here through the night with temperatures into the low 50s likely, right around 50 degrees, mostly cloudy by 6 a.m. So yeah, we are expecting a pretty gray evening, but it is going to be dry and pretty mild. Unlike the low temperature last night of 34, we're gonna stay in the 50s to upper 40s here tonight. Future track showing a few sprinkles early tomorrow morning. Then there's that next system that moves in. As you can see, there are going to be some pockets of moderate rain between about 8 and noon, but I'm not looking at much in the way of heavy rain. We're talking about some of the oranges and reds that you might see here on Future Track, which tends to be kind of more of a relentless rain with some thunder. It's looking just a little more like a typical April system. At midday between 1 and 3 p.m., we're looking at light to moderate rain at times over the entire region, eventually sweeping south and eastward as that cold front makes its way through our area. By about 4 p.m., it starts to dry out in Kendallville and LaGrange. Eventually, all of us start to see some dry weather between about 6 and 8 p.m. The forecast models here showing that uh, we could see anywhere between about a quarter of an inch or so of rain up to maybe about an inch or so of rainfall by the time uh, we get to tomorrow evening. Future temperatures show that we'll be into the low to mid 50s through tomorrow evening, so not a particularly warm day, uh, back to around 50 by Wednesday afternoon. So another cool day uh, Wednesday by the middle of the week. And then by late Wednesday night, early Thursday morning, we start to see those low temperatures once again in that frosty range eventually getting back into the low 50s by Thursday afternoon. The frost and freeze forecast actually showing there's a couple opportunities, I suppose, for a little bit of frost, but we're not expecting that we're going to be staying there for long with overnight low temperatures back into the 50s and 60s by the time we get to the weekend. Here's a look at the seven-day forecast. Some frosty weather again Wednesday into Thursday morning. Uh, Friday, some showers and wind return 67 degrees. 76, a few scattered showers and thunderstorms on Saturday. Sunday, pretty warm too, 77 with a few more of those isolated thunderstorms. Same story on Monday. I would say the biggest story those three days, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday, will be the strong gusts between 30 and 40 miles per hour. The secondary story here being the isolated thunderstorm threat. As we get a little bit closer to that time frame, we'll be able to get a little more specific about what threats those storms could pose. Okay, thank you, Matt. Coming up on 21 Alive Sports,